to it this. I know you from the Bay. You got that Bay sound. So give me your top five Bay artists that you grew up on listening to. Yeah. What? I know I Mac Dre in there. I know, I know Mac Dre in there for sure. I know he in there. I fuck with Dre, but I don't know if he's my top five, though. Oh. He probably is. He probably is. Okay. When you okay. said that, though, the first person I could think of is Mess, bro. What? Okay. Because Messy Marv, bro, nigga, he don't get enough credit. He used to be that nigga for real. Okay. Mess was that nigga. I give it to Mess for sure. Okay. My 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 little cousin, Foe to the motherfucking stove. Y'all gotta check him out. Foe to the stove. Already. That nigga be going motherfucking crazy. He he go crazy. My little cousin go crazy. All right, I'm gonna say mess. My little cousin, Foe to the stove. Uh top five. I know a few. See, I, I'm I'm gonna go off of, uh that I grew up on yeah. or that I just that I just like. Or just inspire you. Some giving them top five that inspired you from the bay, some some bay inspiration because bay got his own sound. Like you know, me being from the sip, you know, we didn't really get all that bay sound. Like we, you know, we got the ones who cut through. Of course, E forty too short. I got five on yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? We got we got this. So we, you know, that Mac Dre. We got a little bit of Mac Dre, but it's sometimes I hear some of the when I'm out at the at some of the spots, man. I hear some of this bay music from back in the day. I'm like, man, you know, that didn't cut through down there for us because in the south. We only thing we was on. We got the the Memphis influence. We got right. Wayne. We got No Limit. We got Eight right. Ball MJG, Pimp C, MJG. Y'all has, a- y'all had, yeah, a, you know y'all what I'm saying. Some starters. Yeah, we got we got a run. You know, you know, three six. That's what that's what we were heavily influenced on that that, that Memphis music. Y'all like that. even for us, we couldn't even we weren't even listening to that New York music. Like when Jay Nim was kind of right. like just getting on. You know, of course Nas like one of my favorites, but you know that New York sound really wasn't us. We was all on that. You know, Wayne and. Three six player fly. That's that's our that's my era. You know what I'm saying. So I can imagine how you guys probably got your own you know era of guys you guys were probably listening to and getting inspired by when you were growing up. Bro, it's hard to choose a top five though. But like, honestly, I forget I forget about a lot of niggas who I grew up listening to. Cause like I'm I'm, I'm like stuck on some oldie shit right now. But like right now, who I like, I say I'm gonna say the top five niggas who I feel like don't get enough credit. Or the, some niggas I listen to, some niggas don't get enough credit. Messy Marv, number one. My my folks to the stove. Who else? My nigga D's. His name Aki Aki. You feel me? Aki on Instagram. That nigga for show sure get overlooked. And he he like he like under be legit and shit. You feel me? Uh, uh, niggas know who be legit is. Yeah. Fucking uh. I'm going to throw Puka in there, Sir V. Wood. Y'all go check him out, Sir V. Wood, Victories Only. Go check him out. Go check Aki Aki out. Go check Fotis though out. You can't leave Messi Marv out of there. A fifth one? I don't know, bro. Hard, That's huh? hard. I got you. Stumped him. Got him. I put E40 in there? Nah. I ain't going to leave E40 out. Before. I'm going I'm to yeah. just throw E40. Me and E40 yeah. from the same spot. Yeah, okay. S-I-double-L. Yeah, we grew up in the same spot, man. Vallejo. Hillside Vallejo, Vallejo man. We, you Vallejo. feel me? I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna throw him out because he's still relevant too. He be fucking around. Yeah, yeah. He still be putting that work in. You know, he still gonna throw putting that work in. E4 That's hard. Show, a top five from the. I see you had did some uh a top five or something with somebody else too. Yeah, what we were doing. I do my year. I do my year and rap with my partner uh, Wallace from the town, man. And we be doing like you know the albums or because like we don't really talk about the music. We kind of talk about every now and then uh, when an album drop because we try to save it for the end of the year and then we go back and to do our top fives. You know, I did mine. You know, I got um I can't even remember, but of course I had currency in there. I like currency. He down. He from right, down. Right, right. You was saying that. You was yeah, saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like so, the yeah, old we, currency though. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, I do. He, he, I think what it is now, he just put out so much music, man. It just, yeah, he just put out so much back. Down. Yeah, you know, just to stay relevant in the uh, the stream era. That's the thing you want to keep the streams or keep the numbers. Plus, I think he's an independent artist, so it's just he can get more of the revenue shares so he put more right, music right, out. Right, right, right. Yeah, but back in the day, of course, you know, you you had to like live with. It. I remember those days when you had to get an album, you had to like live with it, even whether it was good or bad. You really had to like listen to it. You put the CD in that, put in the spin the CD. You know, you spend spending seventeen dollars on it, bro. You like, man, I'm finna get everything out of it, man. I can't right, even let this right. thing go. But now with the streaming era, you can listen to something one time, you can just not go back to it and listen to something yeah, else. Yeah, so the streaming shit, I feel that shit cheating, bro. Like niggas, nah, that streaming shit cheating. 
That shit cheating, bro. And that's like, nigga, like, no lie, bro. 90% of the music I listen to is R&B shit, bro. Like, I'm on some R&B, smooth man. play and shit. Yeah, bro. I like, like, my all, one of my all-time favorites. I like Sade is, like, one of my all-time favorites. That's, like, really going back in the day. But I like the new, I like the new R&B, too. I like listening to, like, her. You know what I'm saying? Her pretty good. I like listening to her album and stuff like that. So, it's, it's pretty good, man. I think it just... Because the music's so up tempo, it's hard for some of that R and B to cut through like it did back in the day. You know that back Bruh, in the day, that R and B really had that sound. It, yeah, they really like, they had that feeling. They had that feeling back in the day. Like right now, I got Jagged Edge. Like Jagged Edge playing on the TV, bro. Like yeah. you would never see no shit like that again. You would never hear no shit like it's not yeah. niggas not talking about the same like how they used to serenade women and, and that, that baby H-town, queens. And, you know, bro, that's what I'm that, saying. Yeah. Like niggas yeah. is too. Niggas too cool Jodeci. now, too, yeah, too yeah. play and too want to be pimps. And that shit's so lame, bro. Yeah, you can't, ain't nobody talking to the women no more, man. You know, nobody bro. but Drake basically, nobody but Drake basically talking to the women. Everybody bro, that shit rap, is man. crazy, bro. That's just like, even like Tupac, if you think about it, how young this nigga was, bro, n- these young niggas not talking like he was talking, bro. It's yeah, older man. niggas that's not even talking like he was talking. That shit... That's why I don't even really listen to the new rap and shit like that. Like, you know, shit is yeah, it be it out. be hard. It be hard though. It be hard for sure. I, I'm I'm like you. I'm listening to a lot. Listen to a lot of the old music, man, because it's what Oldies, we grew up bro. on. I be on like, my like one of my favorites, Eight Ball MJG, because you know, of course, I'm from the south, so them boys is still telling them stories, man. I want to hear about you know, what I'm saying telling them stories. So that's what I like, really captivate me. You know, this new music is up tempo. It kind of like rap old trap beats, and the beats be kind of carrying a lot of the dudes, whereas back in the day, it was more about them lyrics trying to get you over the top. Right. So right. it is what it is. You know, you got to live. Every generation has their thing, so I don't get mad at bro, it. I so, man, just it, circle bro. 